Hey Gavax here. Today I want to do a budget card video. We're going to go kind of through the silvers and lower who I think are good at each position. Uh, I've used a lot of these cards, BR, events, so on and so, far, so, uh, so forth. So I'm going to talk about like kind of good cards that are under an 80 overall because that's really kind of there's a break point at 80 and then 85 when these ramp up so if you guys want a gold series i could do that too but i consider like maybe 79 and under once you're under a thousand um stubs to kind of be more budget obviously you can get diamonds for free from like conquest and other things you can do um to kind of earn on your own teen affinities through march to october that kind of stuff but here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do silver. We're gonna go position by positions, and I'm gonna identify guys that you want. We're gonna kind of talk through a bunch of different positions. So let's do starting pitchers first. Um, so I want guys generally with good per nines or guys that can yak it to kind of like, especially at starters. I mean, relievers can yak it pretty good too. Uh, but I want guys with high velocity or good pitch mixes. Like this Lester card, uh, you don't really see any velocity, but what I like, what I like about Lester is the cutter sinker combo because two pitches basically going different ways. Kind of makes it makes people like around the edge of the strike zone, um, and especially with 70 control or 70 ball uh, BB per nine control 58 isn't the greatest, but uh, can kind of kind of like move it a little bit to kind of throw people off as long as you can locate pretty well um, and hold that. So like with starters, I don't like guys that have lower velocities like Lester. I want guys that can kind of get in there and kind of some guys with funky windups too, but we'll see more of those in the reliever portion of it. Um, so I, I kind of want guys like 95 and above uh, is really what kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, rookie Scherzer, they, they got the rookie cards have pretty decent stats for their overalls, but they're nothing like that crazy. Um, so the ones that I think kind of look out, uh, Castillo, I like this card. This guy, this guy played really well for me. People have trouble hitting 96. I think it gets pumped up to 98 at sometimes. I've seen. Um, who are the other ones? Kent, no, Kenta wasn't there. Uh, I might be, maybe it's second page for John Gray. Oh yeah, Mike here. This guy is, it was great. Mike Fulton White's, yeah, he, uh, the, and I also look for sliders and change-ups. So four seamers, sliders, change-ups, those three pitches on starters, relievers is basically all you need. You need, or, and it's always nice, you know, with the sinker too. So like my ideal, obviously, excluding like the knuckle, um, uh, it would be like, I would have sinker, cutter, slider like a splitter and i don't I, the fifth pitch could be anything right I, I guess you could go four seamer but if i had a sinker if i had a sinker cutter combo i don't think i need a four seamer um so yeah sinker cutter slider split and that's kind of what i want maybe add a curveball into that to throw them off um uh, but that's kind of my ideal one so people especially with those three fastball um combo so 95 is solid uh, Lance is uh, pretty good, but the problem is he doesn't have a slider. We really want sliders in this game. I think a slider or a slurve. Slurve is amazing. A 72 mile per hour curveball is really nice. It'll throw people off for a little bit, uh, but in the end, people are. It feels like they can hit curveballs pretty well in this game, in my opinion, at least. Um, not bad here. You got the slider change, four seamer combo along with a, a curveball. Two seamer, I wouldn't really throw much on uh, German here. And yeah, Voldy. 98 mile per hour fastball give me this the cutter slider splitter so he's got the slider splitter four seamer this is this is the guy you want in your rotation really clearly you want him there uh people are gonna have a lot of top like maybe an all-star not as tough um at 98 but st still people i think will have trouble catching up to the 98 especially if you effectively mix the pitches there um right here let's go keep going down um garrett richards Nick nah, doesn't have a change up. Cueto, Tehran. This guy's. I think he's pitching pretty well, so we might get upgraded. That's why he's expensive. Um, Jake. Nope, nope, nope. Slow curveballs are really nice. Slow pitches. Slow, really extreme pitches are, are really what you kind of want to look for. Um, next page. Was there nobody on this page that I liked? I don't think so. We liked. Uh, ooh, Bob Gibson here. This Bob Gibson card, 96, four seam with a slider and a change, and then maybe a, maybe a curveball there too. Um, obviously a little bit more wild than you like to see, but this is like going into the bronze cover category. So not really budget at 400, but it's because of that one set that kind of kind of uses him up. Um, who else is? I think there's another one on this page that uh, 95 slider splitter combo. Yeah, not bad with a sinker. I kind of like that card. Um, yeah. 
Corbin, slider change with a 96. That's a good one, too. Um, Strowman. Yeah, you can't throw it. I looked at him. Sanchez. Who was in the other one here? I think, oh, yeah. This this Copita. Yeah. 99 he hits with a slider and change. Like, obviously, he's going to be wild. Um, and you, you, like, you won't be able to use him for, like, a... I mean, 72 stamina, whatever. But he's going to be wild, so you can be, like, hanging some pitches if you throw too many slider change-ups. But live off the fastball and make them show that they can catch it. Once they can catch it, then you can kind of work off it a little bit. Make them speed up. Make sure that... Look at their... Look at their uh, feedback every time it says too late or late. You keep pumping that in. Late, and they're more on it, or just late, and they're on it. Uh, but let's move on to relievers. That's enough of starting pitchers. Uh, really, when you hit the bronze, you're hitting the, the rough side of it. All right, so for relievers... So, like same thing as starters change up slider two seamer it's 97 and a sinker nice 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 there's a lot of great cards this sale card is an absolute baller his is a uh, wind up this Nishak card oh god he's such a, that 70 mile per hour circle changes is it destroys people it, it, it keeps them on their front foot he's playing up on inside edge too that's a great card the Nishak uh, there's a lot of like silver relievers are, are bonkers good good in this game it's it's crazy how how amazing relievers are. Um, Familia he hits high nineties with a splitter and a slider, beautiful and a sinker. Yeah, Rondon does the same thing. Woo! He's playing down today, but wow. Jeffress, knuckle curve. Uh, not the not knuckle curve, so not the greatest. Uh, yeah, curveball. You want you want the slider more than the curve. Uh, that's what I look for. Lou Trevino. This guy, the cutter is essentially a, a, a slider, you would say. Uh, but no change up kind of hurts him a lot. Liam. Herrera. This is this is a great pitch mix. You got to have Herrera in your bullpen. Um, Stanek I like too. Yeah, slider splitter with a 98. Woo! Man, there's so many good ones. Perez has got like a wicked windup, but I don't really love that card. But wait, I think he's got another card in the game that's better. Uh, but you do, I think it's the Pirates Collection one. Uh, 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 Trevor May pitched actually pretty well for me. Uh, in in uh, BR runs. So, May's not bad. Britain, Britain's got a filthy sinker, but he's got no other off speed. So, throw the sinker slider combo. See if you can make him uh, hit your sinker, basically. Make them square it up. Baez has pitched well for me, too. This is a, even though he's playing down, 97 with a slider and change. Gorgeous. Um, there's so many good cards, though. But yeah, I, I generally like guys at the top end of the, the speed spectrum. He's not very good. Um, Madsen, nah. Who down here? This, I wonder if there's any. any uh, ooh, Kyle Crick, slider four seamer. It's all right. Uh, who else did he use? Ooh, Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly is phenomenal. Um, a little wild, but look at that knuckle curve slider change with a 99 mile per hour yak. Tommy, I like Tommy too. Change of slider four seamer. Beautiful. Take him. Rosenthal, I think, was not bad either. Yeah. Rosenthal's a good card, too. Yeah, basically, that's all you're doing. Looking for, looking for especially in, like, drafts. Look for velocity. Uh, people have a hard time hitting it out of the pen. All right, next position. Oh, you, I guess closing pitching's here, too. Um, same thing. I don't need to really identify, guys. Uh, I, I told you kind of the ingredients here. Jordan Hicks. Yeah, I used him. He got he got hit a little bit, uh, but not bad. Being able to throw 99. I wish, it, I wish they ac accurately show him. Um, in his stats catcher the best I think the best budget catcher is actually a left fielder and that is Schwarber so if you're gonna get a catcher I think you should Schwarber should be your catcher he played really well for me arm strength 93 so it's a secondary he'll lose a little bit of fielding uh, but you know I have a I have a diamond uh, behind the plate Joe Torrey and he, he misses balls all the time so uh, this this card he hit well for me he might be better served as a bat bat bench or sorry, bench bat while your main catcher plays, and then if your main catcher needs to get pinch run for, pinch run him with like a Buxton, which we'll get to later, and then maybe put Schwarber in afterwards. Or Schwarber's flexible; you could just use him as a lefty facing a righty. So multiple ways of using Schwarber, but I think uh, he's got a, he, he can come on and, and, and yak one for you. All right, Chris Davis. Yeah, let's not let's get to left fielders later. There's a lot of good left fielders. So catchers. Uh, but other ones that played well for me, I think Sanchez is too expensive uh, to get rid of. I'm not really budget, but uh, everybody kind of likes him. 
Kendall um, didn't really love him against right. Like you'll face righties three quarters of the t- three quarters of the time, so that's why we're kind of going. Contreras wasn't bad. Molina was whatever for me. What was what's my Molina stats? Ten plate appearances, six hits. All right, I'm hitting six hundred with Molina, so maybe he's better than I remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, good contact, good vision. You can't really ask for much more. Maybe a better arm. Uh, that's why Contreras I like. El Gary. Um, Zanino, H. Under Fine. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of great, like, catchers. So that's why I suggest going left fielder there if you're going for the silver level. All right, first baseman. There's some good, st- uh, good stuff here. Uh, Muncy's hit well for me. What are my stats with Muncy? Uh, I guess I'm only 6 for 13 with him. With two dingers. Not bad with the two dingers. So 462 batting average. Um, Double E is okay. I think like Muncy a little bit better. Actually, Double E's got better at fielding. He can also secondary at third base, which I don't recommend. Uh, but... Yeah, let's play whatever. McCovey, amazing bench bat. 95 power. Yeah. A lefty bench bat again. Uh, Aguilar played really well for me. Uh, um, Boar. Boar's got a pretty sweet swing. Stats don't look it, but he's got a sweet swing. Adams played okay. Jed Jericho's nice and flexible. He can play a lot of positions for you, so he'd be a solid bench piece, but nothing spectacular about him. Goldschmidt's whatever. Trumbo, nothing amazing. Void, I didn't have a lot of luck with. Uh, Healy, Bell, Pujo, Smoke. There's got to be one more. Reynolds hit. Eh, Reynolds was, nah. I like Elver as a swing. So I, I like lefties better than righties for some reason. Elver's swing's hot. Good card. Alonzo, yeah, he's having a hell of a time. Dude's, dude's knocking the cover off the ball. People are thinking he's going up to gold. That's way too expensive. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I want to get to. Is there anybody down here? Good old Chris Davis. <laughs> no. All right, second base. Zobris, uh, I really like Zobris' card. He's a switch hitter too. This guy, this guy, plays all over the diamond, infield, outfield. Switch hitter. Uh, I guess I'm only 8 for 21, 381, but still, it's nice having that switch hitter. Um, he's got good contact, vision. Uh, but I think he came for, he sticks out, he came, for, he came through for me once in the clutch. Kinsler was decent. Lowry's good. But yeah, I think Zobris would be my, no, I don't know if he's my number one second base. Well, let me keep looking. Glabor is okay. Dozier, Logan. Yeah, maybe Zobris is my number one. Jeff McNeil. Bats lefty. Wow, look at that inside edge. That is a contact god. Yeah, that might be the move. Um, D. Gordon. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. The rest of them were whatever. So yeah, maybe Zobris could be your second baseman. Or you can put... Uh, I'll go through the, when I go through the third baseman. Like, you could put... Moose has got a second base secondary. Shaw... If you want a lefty, that's got a little bit of a pop. Um, it's not bad. 73 fielding. A little slower than you like. Uh, but there's some some third baseman here. Eddie Matthews. His his uh, big daddy card hits really good. Um, Seager's solid. Against lefties. Switch hitter, though. Yeah, not bad. Miguel Andahar. I think the best one. Oh, no. He's a gold. Uh, never mind. I was going to say the best one I like, but... Chapman is is uh, gold. I think he'll get upgraded. Sano. Sano, again, another bench bat that you might want. Uh, but I think the guy I'd go with for third baseman, if I had a choice out of all these, I would probably maybe Shaw at second if I don't do Zobrist. And then um, I think it's got to be Nunez for me at third. Ooh, I like the way he hit, but... I like his contact and vision, not power. But yeah, if you want more power, then you go somebody like uh, Shaw or uh, Moose. Maybe Moose is the move there. Shortstop, my favorite one out of all these. I've used I've used these guys. Um, obviously, too expensive here in Vermont to see, but you can get him for more speed. Dijon plays really well for me. I like Dijon, a righty bat, uh, but he hits righties pretty well. Uh, but like, there's some other. Who is it? Tati, uh, Tati's stats aren't good, but he's fast and he's young, so he's exciting. Tim Anderson, he's having a good year. I think he took a little bit of time off. 
to uh, what he just had a child. Um, who plays well though? Diaz. Dijon is my favorite. Modesty, obviously, but he's expensive. Segura, right-handed, contact vision. Can't go wrong with Segura there. Segura or Dijon are my my choice at shortstop. Left field, Gallo, hundred percent. He's too. He's really expensive, but he is he's phenomenal. I love Gallo. Love his swing. Love everything about him. Um, if you want a little bit of this, ooh, Garner Garner's faster than Dahl. Is that real life? Brantley's got good contact and vision. I like contact and vision a little bit more than I did last year. Chris Davis is awesome, but again, expensive. Um, Schwarber, I talked about him for catcher. Kemp doesn't have the greatest vision with, except with contact. Um, Palka, I didn't do so well with. It's okay, though. Ted Williams. Hmm. Gamble. Yeah, down here a little bit lower. So yeah, if you can't afford Gallo, you need Gallo in your lineup. Absolute, ab isn't even a question. Center fielder. Now you can go all out speed, get the Hamilton or say the uh, Buxton. But I, I'd have one of those for your bench bat. Probably Buxton, sorry, for your bench runner. Buxton will should be your pinch runner for your team. But your actual center fielder should be a little bit more balanced so they can hit and run a little bit. In uh, Ender, ain't bad. Eaton. So I want like Harrison Bader can't hit that well. Uh, maybe a Chris Taylor type, 75 speeds, whatever. Uh, Malix. He played. Well, let me take a look at his uh, stats. How do you do for me? 0 for 4. All right. Well, I didn't get it. That's not a very large sample size, so I can't really say that. Yeah. Center fielders. Oh, I haven't even used Broxton yet. Yeah, how did Buxton hit with... How did I hit it with him? 5 for 16. Mm, so, yeah, it shows. Yeah, nothing too amazing. You gotta go, like, defense or offense. Maybe you'll, maybe you can even... Maybe... Oh, whoops. Maybe you could put a uh, left fielder or right fielder out there if you're feeling a little uh, risky. You, go, you can go up to gold and get better, guys. Uh, Jose Martinez, I like this card a lot. Uh, that might be my right fielder of choice. Let's see. Who else did I hit well with? Did I even use Marcakis yet? No. It's been on my team, but I haven't used him. But it looks nice. Um, Castellanos against lefties. Vlad Guerrero. Dang, Guerrero. Yeah, I haven't used him, but not bad. For hitting, at least. Well, that vision? I love vision. Eric Thames. Put him at first base, maybe. Yeah, you can sock some sock some dingers with him. But yeah, I think I think the guys you want are kinda up here. You can go more mixed with like uh Reddick, but I think Martinez is he's a little slower than you like to see. Uh but man, he does hit really well. Really well, I mean. I think I'm slurring my words now. It's too late. Too late in the night. Alright, so those are kind of my budget picks for your lineup. Um, Marquegas here. So let's. I'll go through my ideal lineup. If we're going to choose one per position, Marquegas and right uh, center field. I think I'm taking. I think I'm taking. Uh, Incarte Ender here. Ender or Hamilton. I probably might. I might even do Hamilton just for that speed. See if you can get on. Left field Gallo for sure with Chris Davis. Maybe throw Chris Davis in right field. He's so slow. Uh, it's tough to really use him reliably. You could also put Gallo um, down to first or third. Maybe he's best at third base. And then uh, if you need Davis's bat, put him in left. Schwarber's my catcher. Uh, shortstop, I am I am going to do DeJong. But again, like I said, I have no issue with Mondesi there. Um, third base, I said. Second base, I'm putting Zobrist. Oh, third base, I'll have, I'll have like uh, Shaw as a bench bat, and then Moose will probably be there along with um, first base. Muncy will be my first baseman, and then I'll have bench bats with uh, McCovey, 
A Aguilar. Uh, I think that's that's good, right? I think that's enough bench because I got I got uh, center fielder Buxton to pinch run. So those are my choices for you for the budget team. Sorry that this went on so long, but uh, thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.